We are now getting a much clearer picture of exactly what happened during Friday night's severe weather that rolled through the Arklatex. Good evening, I'm Jeff Farrell. Is there a house in question that police are actually at a standoff with, or are we talking about in the middle of the street? Kind of describe this for us. You know, this story really is a Rorschach test, if you will, about how people feel about the government. There has been a groundswell of support, first of all, for Principal Hardison. A suspected burglar is seen on surveillance video, and police are hoping you can help identify who it is. Matt Harris joins us now for sports, and you and I have talked about this. I'm yes. not a huge pro wrestling guy. I think uh, yeah, it depends. Yeah, yeah. All right, but we're talking <laughs> WrestleMania 31 happening tonight? Right. This is the busiest time of the year for millions of tiny tropical birds arriving on the shores of Louisiana. Many of those colorful tropical songbirds make their first landfall at Grand Isle. Dave McManera takes us there in tonight's heart of Louisiana. You know who that is? LeBron James. That, that's LeBron James. I made him stop saying that. Anybody who doesn't know, I think, was it last weekend? No, it was two, three weekends ago. Right, and he played this, this little Vine clip, I guess. Right. That's what the kids are watching. But folks now. see me now, and they're like, right. hey, what's up, LeBron, LeBron James. James. New tonight, a log truck fell on and pinned an Arklatex man, killing him this morning. In Baltimore, violent protests last night gave way to church services today after the recent death of Freddie Gray. Even before. The official number of dead from Saturday's Himalayan earthquake has topped 25 hundred people now and it may continue to rise countries from around the world including the u.s. are now deploying teams to earthquake stricken areas in nepal in tonight's campaign coverage early voting starts monday for the may 9th election in texas and speaking of politics what some call the nerd prom the white house correspondence dinner in dc led to some big laughs still to come on KSLA news 12 weekend here are some of the best zingers from the president. President Barack Obama delivered some real zingers during last night's White House Correspondents Dinner in Washington, D.C., and few people were safe from the jokes. That included former Vice President Dick Cheney. A few weeks ago, Dick Cheney says, Mr. Obama told them he has something that rhymes with bucket list. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, clever. Clever. yeah, I, I like see it. what the yeah, president did there. It is. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? This is a brown bag kit handed out to Shreveport police patrol officers in recent months. It included gloves, a surgical mask, and antibacterial gel. They were handed out beginning at the height of the national Ebola scare last fall. Just for first responders, if you're going out to a, a scene or something like that. So it was trying to take some precautionary measures. Doesn't look like it would present uh, very much protection at all. Those given the bags say they were called Ebola kits. Just how much protection would they give on a scale of zero to 100? Maybe 10 percent. LSU Health Shreveport pathologist Gerald Capraro started with the hand gel. It's labeled as an antibacterial, and antibacterials don't work against viruses. They only work against bacteria. Then there's the surgical mask. The surgical masks are meant to prevent the surgeon from contaminating the scene not to protect the surgeon from what might be in the patient. That would require a respirator for the doctor or a full head hood. This is a very good protective mechanism for other things, okay, for staph infections that the person might have that might potentially could be transmitted to the policeman. And that's exactly what Shreveport police say was the intention of this kit, made available to all uniformed officers who wanted it and was not intended just for Ebola. But one source inside the department posted this picture on social media, showing a bag that reads, Ebola help bag, which we're told officers had to sign for when receiving. Jeff Farrell, KSLA News 12. Even lit by the moon, this house may not look spooky. But just ask the next door neighbor if the house is haunted. She once lived here with a roommate. She heard footsteps in the hallway, and then she heard somebody trying to rattle the door like they were trying to get it open. So when she went to open the door, there was nobody there. That roommate went back to bed. Then it happened again. She got up, got her stuff, and went stayed at a friend's house for the remainder of the night. Weber believes a Ouija board game may have attracted the spirits. They had seen a man, a woman, and a child. Weber eventually moved out. She just looked at me and then I turned away and then I looked back and she was gone. 16 year old Courtney Threat says the apparition of a woman in a white dress appeared in the attic as her family moved in. 
And then I saw a little girl and she was giggling. Her mom wasn't a believer until... I felt a tug on my hair and I had turned around to, you know, tell my husband to quit and there was nobody there. Hey, James. The family turned to the paranormal group, Louisiana Spirits. Bess Maxwell led the team. You're looking at three cameras. This one is in the attic. The other cameras monitored the dining room and Courtney's bedroom. She has reported seeing an apparition of a man outside looking in the window. Then came lights out. If that thing just goes off and all the rest of us are just sitting here and nothing is happening, then something is over there. LA Spirits and its members say so far in their investigations they have not had much luck when it comes to video evidence of any paranormal activity. But they do say they've had plenty of audio proof in the form of something called EVPs, electronic voice phenomenon. Believers say EVPs are typically short, like a word or phrase. Maxwell says an EVP from this house back in December is a voice possibly saying, I'm Gilbert. Listen again. The LA Spirits team hoped their second visit here delivered a better EVP. We'd like to talk to the family up here if that's possible. But just as this EVP session started, word came Courtney's mom had been attacked downstairs. You see the three marks? Amy Crone says she'd been sitting at the computer desk. Right about that time I got scratched and I, I said, ow. Crone appeared visibly upset. I'm angry. You're angry that I picked on you? Yeah, whatever this is, stepped over a line. But LA Spirits case manager, John Combs, says detailed audio analysis appears to capture the sound of a drawer opening where Crone had sat and then closing after she was scratched. Amy Crone insists something attacked her. Jeffrey, OKSLA News 12.